Hi YouTube, it's Amber. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't made a video in a while. Um, my last video I think was in August. Um, I just want to give you a little update. I did try to make a video in, on my post-op appointment which was September 10th. But it was 11 minutes and it was too long so I'm going to try and shorten this one up. Okay, um, let's see. Um, the day of surgery, I, well, my starting weight was 429 pounds. Um, the day of surgery, um, I was, um, let me think. The day of surgery, I was 392 pounds. Um, and so at that point, I think I lost like 30, 38 pounds or something like that, or 37 pounds, I think. Um, Anyways, um, so at that point I was 392, and then I went in for my post-operation appointment September 10th, and I was 394. So I was a little discouraged because I would gained 2 pounds, but the nurse said that that was perfectly normal because um, my body was just recovering from surgery and everything, and I was a little freaked out until today. Um, <clears throat> today was supposed to be my first fill, which I was really excited about. Um, let me think. My first fill. Yeah, so today's the 8th. Yeah, so today was supposed to be my first fill. Um, I've been really excited because I wanted the restriction. I mean, things have been great so far, but I gained 2 pounds, so I was a little concerned over that. And, um, yeah. So when you gain two pounds, it kind of just, you know, depresses you because you're not supposed to be gaining, you're supposed to be losing. But she said it was normal, so I just went with what she said, and um, she said that's why they call it Banster Hell. It's Banster Hell is supposed to be the time after surgery, but before your first fill. So, um, um, yeah, about the fill that was supposed to be today. I go in. Okay, and I don't weigh myself except for when I go to the doctor, which is like once a month type thing. Um, so I go to the doctor today and I get weighed. And I'm thinking, okay, last time I gained two pounds, so this time I've probably gained two because I hadn't changed anything. Everything had been the same. I've done everything the same, eating, walking, and everything. So I thought for sure I'd gained or stayed around the same. Well, I step on the scale, and um, like I said, September 10th, I was 394. I step on the scale, and I'm 371.2, and I'm like in total shock. I'm like, are you serious, you know? And then I ask her if I can get weight again, so I step off, step back on, 371. So I'm thinking, what in the world is going on? You know, I haven't changed anything. I guess, um, you know, apparently what had happened is I just plateaued there for a while. I was just hovering around the same, give or, give or take, you know, a few pounds. But anyway, so at this point, October 8th, I am 371.2 pounds. And that makes my weight loss total 57 pounds. So... That's pretty good, or no, that makes it 58 pounds. So, um, anyways, um, he refused to give me a fill. I didn't know you could actually be refused a fill, <laughs> but apparently you can. Um, he refused me a fill because he said I was doing, his exact words were, exceptionally well. He said that um, everything is going great, I'm doing it on my own, and he doesn't think I need a fill. So in four weeks I go in and he's going to see if he'll give me a fill then. But I was really upset over not getting a fill because I was looking forward to it and um, I really wanted it really bad. But apparently he didn't think it was necessary so he wouldn't give me one. But um, 58 pounds is good. Um, I had surgery August 26th. So, 58 pounds is good. I did lose a lot of weight before surgery on that 30-day Optifast liquid diet stuff, but, um, so I guess that two-pound gain, I guess I'm not so upset over that anymore because I've lost 22 pounds since, um, since September 10th, since my post-op appointment, 
at that time I'd gained two pounds and now I've I'm down 22 more which makes a total of 58 but um, I wanted to give you all um, a few things I'm having a hard time finding things that I like to drink um, basically they just say tea with sweet and low or water um, unless you can find something else and I did happen to find a few more things so I just wanted to show you all um, these things now this first one that I'm going to show you you don't really drink it unless you're really wanting you know Gatorade because Gatorade's like loaded with sugar I didn't know that but it is but this is G2 I've already drank it <laughs> but anyways this is G2 and um, it's Gatorade G2 and it's got let me find um, I think it's got about a hundred calories for the entire container a hundred calories for this whole container and um, it's got like 14 grams of sugar or something so it's not too bad um, but again this does have sugar but out of the Gatorade this is the best choice it's the Gatorade G2 so that's the best choice out of Gatorade um, and this one I really love <clears throat> this one is Powerade Zero so it has zero calories which is awesome it's got um, zero calories and zero sugar it's actually made with Splenda this is a brand new product they just came out with them so um, it's really really good um, you should try it if you haven't tried it but yeah and then I also found um, this Dasani Plus it's calm and relaxed this one has zero calories per serving this one's really good this tastes like um, like um, Gatorade so to me it does well this is the lemon lime flavor and it does taste like the lemon lime Gatorade to me so it's really good you should try this one but um, I guess that'll be all for now I don't want to make this video too long because I did the last one apparently but yeah so far as of October 8th no fill I go back in in four weeks and they'll give me a fill hopefully um, and at this point I, I started out at 429 pounds and now I am 371.2 so it's a 58 pound loss so I'm happy about that and I hope everyone's doing well um, I've been looking at some of your videos and I think it seems like overall everybody's doing pretty good and um, I thank you all so much and I found this um, YouTube thing to be really fun and helpful so um, thank you very much and hopefully it won't be long before I post again hopefully uh, sorry about the the um, length of time here but um, I got frustrated because I tried posting one and it wouldn't post but um, I guess that's it so um, Thank you, YouTube, for watching, and I hope you all are doing well. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much.